Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing Treaties, Trenches, Mud, and Blood. Uh, usual upload schedule. And we were on chapter 17, I last remember. So... That's 16. Okay, reinforcements. <coughs> chapter 18. Reinforcements. So many casualties, they'll run out of soldiers. Everyone was running out of soldiers. Orders were sent out across the world. Send reinforcements. Troops arrived from every corner of the British Empire. Many were escorted by Japanese ships. From Australia, 20,000. From Canada, 40,000. From New Zealand, 8,000. From India, we already fought here. We fought at Ypres. France welcomed troops from colonies in Africa. From Senegal, we were at Ypres too. In the United Kingdom, over a million civilians volunteered for service. Did anyone join Germany? Yes, your friends Turkey, otherwise known as the Ottoman Empire, joined the Central Powers. I get it. Ottoman Empire. Jolly good. Kangaroo, beaver, kiwi, tiger, buffalo, and otter. Still no bunny. So, here we go. We got India over here, kiwi, otter, and kangaroo. As well as... Um, what's its name? Buffalo, or bison, if you want to call it that, and beaver. Oh, wait, sorry, those are swapped. <coughs> what animal is Japan? You said J Japanese force ships escorted the reinforcements. Japan is represented by the tanuku, the raccoon dog. Very cute. That's adorable. <coughs> Japan's involvement in the war was primarily naval based. Okay, I got my voice back. Was primarily naval based. This war's been short on naval action so far. Here's a navy story. Britannia rules the waves. We must go under the waves. Huh? Behold the utter sea port. We'll sneak. Will you sneak? Sink the fleet from beneath. With this one little boat, we have 29 of them. That's cheating. You can't go under the sea. The German U-boats did, and they were very successful. How did they hold their breath for so long? German U-boats roamed the deep. The British Navy patrolled the waves. Armies in the millions rose in their trenches. The era ended, but the war did not. Who's winning? No one but the god of war. Enjoying the series? He's gotten uglier since we last saw him. Why is everything a reddish color for this book? Chapter 19. Trench Locked. I didn't... I didn't know we had to live in these holes. Mud and blood and never enough shells. Plenty of shells, but the Germans have them all. Dig, dig, dig! We'll turn our trenches and we'll turn our trenches, trench into an underground fortress. There has to be an easier way to clear the flinch. No uniforms, no uh, red pantaloons. I like the red pantaloons. The new French helmet is made of steel. It is called the Adrian. This is Oz. It's called Helmet Mark 1. Can I have a French one? Everyone is getting steel helmets. Oz has steel leather. Leather. I want steel. 
quiet. You will wear your pickle hobble and you will like it. Down, incoming shoes. Where are the roosters going? Get down, you lot. Don't run in the open like that. Guess, guess, they are shooting gas shells. Poison gas. That is the worst, most dishonorable piece of fighting I've ever seen. The people of the future are barbarians. What does the gas do? Does it smell bad? The gas causes a person's lung to fill with liquid. If you breathe too much, you could drown on dry ground. Before long, both sides were using gas. Put on your hypo helmets. It's time to give a gem, to give the Germans a taste of their own medicine. Fire! Attack before the gas clears. I can't breathe in this thing. Keep your mask on. <coughs> <coughs> Chapter 20. Jeez, that was fast. We're going to chapter 21, I think. Galapoli. The western front is at a standstill. It's time to launch a new campaign. Cup. Uh, spelling mistake. It's campaign. The Ottoman Empire has joined our enemies. They could be the weak, weak link and the key to winning this war. The Ottomans control the Dada Lane Strait. It's a water route to Russia and Asia. We could ship Russian troops to the Western Front. We could ship fresh supplies to the Eastern Front. It's a win-win. We can't do it. Every warship is needed. We have, we have to, is needed to keep Germany blockaded. We can use our old, out-of-date ships. Our retired fleet is far superior to anything Turkey has. We'll make quick work of them. Very well, Mister Churchill. Bring us the Dardanelles. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. They've got mines. If our ships bump one of those, kaboom! The narrows are packed with them. If the mines don't sink us, the forts on shore will. We can't get through. Let's drop troops on the tip of this peninsula. They can capture those forts from land. 30,000 Allied troops, French, British, and Anzac, were taken to the Gallipoli Peninsula. What is ANSAC? The Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. You'll take this. I'll take this over muddy trenches any day. Too right. Some troops landed safely. This beast. She is magnifico. Some never made it ashore. Race across the boat of bridges, but we're right on the Turkish guns. Save us, the ocean's red with blood. The ones who made it ashore dug in deep, hundreds of miles by sea, and were back in a trench. We will fight until these invaders are gone from our shores, but we're completely out of ammo. Then we charge with bayonets. I do not order you to fight. I order you to die. Good heavens, those Ottoman soldiers are a brave lot. They are. This regiment, the Turkey 57th, fought until every single man was dead or wounded. Talk about a 100% casualty rate. Yay, killing people. Wow. Before long, the book... Forces at Gallipoli were locked in trench combat. Over the top, mates! The Allied forces charged again and again. They gained little ground. The Ottoman Empire's army grew and grew. U-boats arrived and began sinking Churchill's fleet. Oi, what's happening to the boats? 
don't leave us here. And after eight months of hard fighting and 200... 250,000 casualties. The Allies withdrew from Gallipoli. Victory for the Ottoman Empire! Victory for Turkey! Chapter 21. Okay, last chapter. Collapse and Retreat. May 1st, 1915, Eastern Front. Bad news. They are out of guns. Out of soldiers? No, we have millions of soldiers. We have no guns for them. Send them out anyway. When my, when's my turn with the rifle? When I die, you get the rifle. When he, you die, he gets the rifle. We're, get, we're still getting radio info from Russia. It appears they are out of guns. No guns? Austria Hungary could use a victory or two. They might be able to win against a weaponless army. Maybe. Germany teamed up with Austria Hungary. Together, they invaded Russia. They were merciless. Stand and fight for Russia! They didn't stand. The bears were pushed back. Hundreds of miles into Russia. 1915 is not a good year for the Allies. No, maybe later. Chapter 22. Bye, guys. It's list. It's pretty much a 10-minute video, and I've already gotten through three full chapters. All right. Next time, like, enjoyed this video, and comp. Comment if you learned anything new. Subscribe to support my channel. And turn on notifications so you get notified for all new videos like this one. I'll see you in the next one, history lovers. Good night, good morning, good evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye.